All right, time for an RTL bus ride. We did the STL this weekend. Now it's time to do an RTL one here on the South Shore, Long Guy. And uh, this one takes us to Panama Terminus. Nice design. And these seats are uh, very interesting. So we'll stay around here, I suppose. And you can see these windows as well. Very similar to the STL bus that we filmed this weekend, actually. Very beautiful day, and this for the timestamp, it is Monday, June the 20th, 2022, exactly 8.09 p.m. Like I said, this will take us to Panama Terminus. So I'm going to sit in these seats up here. And you can see uh, they still got the chains on these buses, these yellow chains. On some of them at least. Okay, so this bus ride should be about half an hour or so. Here, like I said, this is the six line. And uh, yeah, this window is much cleaner than the one in the back. This is the RTL Terminus, of course. Also, where Longay University of Sherbrooke Metro Station is. There's the Jacques Cartier Bridge, by the way, which we will be passing under. Not sure where that bus goes, that coach bus. STC 750. Maybe someone out there knows, I'm sure. Yeah, it looks like I hit a bump and I hit the stop button by accident. Didn't really miss much, maybe a couple of feet worth of a bus ride. I'm not sure if I'm going to film the whole bus ride, but uh, I'll do a good portion of it. stairs to get on the bridge if you're ever interested in, in doing the walk. Cal Games, when you do your walk from Barry Cam to uh, this metro station or Jean Drapeau, well, you're going to have to take the Jacques Cartier Bridge. And uh, that's, by the way, I'm talking about a fellow YouTuber that's doing a pretty interesting series on uh, walking between each metro station on the STM metro line. Very interesting video project. And I'll post a link to his channel so you can see that. There's a, looks like an Orleans Express coach bus. It says St. Foy, Quebec. So I think that's coming from Quebec City, actually. There's a scenic view towards Montreal. There's the downtown core right there. There's the biosphere. Part Jean Drapeau, Il Saint Helen. Here's what your RTL bus shelters look like, by the way. 
And they use the color red here a lot. I guess more like a burgundy red. Seems to be their color of choice for the RTL. Nice park there. You had the park, you had the highway, and then you got the water. street signs look like. Definitely like the sunset right now because it's illuminating a lot of the buildings and trees that I'm filming. There's a nice old house. Look at this. 505 Riverside. houses on this street which I think is called Riverside same as the bus route name pretty sure this is Riverside Street yeah it is to the Victoria Bridge, which is where the Mont St. Hilaire train goes over, which I was on earlier. This is a nice little residential neighborhood. I think we're in a different municipality now. It's still part of the South Shore. Looks like a Looks like the center of a town, center of a municipality. Oh, St. Lambert. Yeah, it says we're, uh, we're in St. Lambert right now. That's what that sign says. And we're going on to Victoria Street. There's what the street signs look like here. Interestingly enough, you know, one of my YouTube buddies, TechNet990, who knows this area inside out. He was telling me the other night that uh, when I was doing some filming with him that this whole area used to be known as Longay, I believe, at one time, and then it separated. Different municipalities broke apart. So yeah, St. Lambert is definitely part of the South Shore. But the RTL buses, by the way, the, this RTL bus that I'm on, the, you can see the logo here, RTL, they run all the South Shore buses. Now, the South Shore has a lot of municipalities. They have, uh, you know, Greenfield Park, you have St. Bruno, St. Hubert, Longay, Brossard. Um, a couple of other ones that I probably forgot to mention. But they're all part of the RTL, similar to the STM. You know, for the STM, you it is Montreal, but the STM covers you know Saint Anne's, Beaconsfield, RDP, Kirkland, 
West Mount, Point St. Charles, Redon, LaSalle, you name it. Actually, that's the St. Lambert train station right here. I was just, that's where I got off originally, right there. I took a train to St. Bruno and then took a train back to St. Lambert. Took a bus from St. Lambert station to University of uh, the Sherbrooke Long Bay, University of the Sherbrooke RTL Terminus, which I started this bus right on. Yeah, and I got on this bus, a six. And the bus I took from St. Lambert to Long Bay Terminus, Long Gale Terminus, was the one, the number one RTL one route. Very nice uh, residential neighborhood, this one as well, right here. about nine minutes into the bus ride now. Let's have a look at your bus shop. By the way, oh, look at this old car right there. And by the way, uh, in terms of the zone, the new zones coming out, this is going to be classified as Zone B. Most of the South Shore, that is. to the uh, RTL website so you can see for yourself the area it covers I'll uh, write a note to remind myself of that to put that link in my video description now the RTL terminus uh, Longgate terminus at the metro station which is part of the yellow line by the way that terminus also serves uh, Mount St. Hilaire Uh, I think St. Jean sur Richelieu, which is not part of RTL territory, those ones, but those buses also use that terminus. Just like a couple use Panama terminus. You can see the street signs are changing as we venture further westward. The streets Princess, nice name for a street. Uh, yes, I forgot to mention we are going westward. We are going in the west direction. Towards, uh, like I said, Panama Terminus. And we'll see the Samuel Duchamp Plain Bridge. If I decide to film the bus ride all the way there. I'm not worried so much about the battery, I'm worried about the fact that I hit the stop button by accident and now I'm going to have to merge the video together the first minute or two with this big chunk of video and last time I tried to merge a big video together I uh, said I didn't have enough space on my phone. That's something that's frustrating too because YouTube used to have a video merger built into it uh, on the studio, the YouTube studio, which is where you edit videos. They used to be used to be able to put a video on there and then another video and you can merge them together. I don't know why they got rid of that function. Really, really not something I was pleased with and I'm sure a lot of other YouTubers aren't pleased with. On a side note, I do use a video editor on my phone do videos which is called you cut by the way if anyone's interested
apartment building and you have the big one right beside it. Somebody rang the bell a little too late. Which does happen sometimes. And that's the thing, uh, you know, if you ever ring the bell too soon to the stop, uh, the bus sometimes slams on the brakes like that. Oh, yeah, big tanker truck. Tanker train. There's your gas prices, by the way. Two dollars and eleven cents a liter. Can you try to get a view here on the side? At two eleven point nine, almost uh, two two dollars and twelve cents a liter, which is what we use here in Canada, liters. And I think other places is gallons. I think we're on Tasho Boulevard now, actually. Current time is 8.28 p.m.
uh, I think from Kahnem I'm gonna take the 45 bus across. Oh, look at that sun. Oh, it's a beauty. I'm gonna take the 45 across the bridge. The Samuel du Champlain Bridge. And wrap her up with a beautiful sunset video. By the way, there's a new terminus down there. There's a nice variety of RTL buses. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up here and uh, just wait for this light to change. And there's your new Panama Terminus right over there. This is where your old one used to be. And your temporary one is down here. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up here because like I said, I wanna make sure I can merge these videos together. And uh, as always, more videos to come. One more look at that sunset, beautiful, beautiful. And uh, as always, have a good night everybody, more videos to come.